Good afternoon, everyone. We'll begin the 1210 Mass in a short bit. Good to have you with us. See you in a few.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we gather on this Friday afternoon uh, to celebrate this Mass, let us just take a moment, recall God's great and generous mercy uh, as we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the way and the truth and the life. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the death of your Son has raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. This is a reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for everything under the heavens, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them. A time to embrace, and a time to be far from embraces. A time to seek, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rend, and a time to sow. A time to be silent, and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the children of God to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering, from beginning to end, the work which God has done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man that you noticed him, the son of man that you take thought of him? Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Blessed be Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as ransom for the many. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, 
others, Elijah, and still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, the Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed on the third day, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There was a young priest once in our community who got very upset, very upset that uh, he was young and he looked young. He looked probably about 12. And uh, he was upset that maybe some in, among the parish staff or among uh, the parishioners didn't take him seriously enough, that they didn't uh, respect his priesthood enough. Uh, he was newly ordained and he, was, he, just, he looked like he was 12. And, uh, and you can understand why people may not you know, get on board right away. And I said to him, you know, it's wonderful to be ordained and everybody came around you and everybody, you know, honored you, but still in the eyes of parishioners and your coworkers, many of who have a lot more experience uh, in life than you, probably are waiting, you to, uh, waiting for you to express your priesthood in action. See you be a priest see you minister to others in an authentic, in a full fashion, and then you gain respect over time. People may call you father, but they'll really mean it. So be patient, hang in there, ask for good advice, and seek to be that presence of Christ that you are ordained to be. Just like all of us as baptized persons, you could say to someone, well, I'm a Christian or I'm a Catholic. I, you know, I'm baptized, I go to church every day, and people would say, certainly doesn't look that way from the way you behave. Uh, and so the onus is on all of us as well, which is maybe why Jesus rebuked Peter in this gospel. Who do people say that I am? And for the disciples, it was still a puzzle who he was. It wasn't clear. Was it a prophet, a new prophet, or one that had come back from heaven? Jesus, but Peter, to his credit, from the experience he had at that point, could say, you are the Christ of God. And Jesus did not want Peter or the disciples, even though this was true, to put it out in the world. And some biblical scholars and others suggest that this was because he wanted the people of God and his followers to walk with him and get the full picture of who he was as Christ, son of the living God most particularly not only by the miracles and and the great words that he spoke but even more so by the offering and giving of his life and his being risen from the dead in that context knowing the full story all peoples would say he was the messiah the son of the living god and that was what jesus was saying hold back there needs to be more so it's just a reminder in our own lives that People will know us not so much as who we say we are, but what we do and how we respond to the needs around us, how we reflect the love and the mercy of our God and Savior that Jesus modeled, not in the sky far away from us, but in the flesh, on the ground, walking with brothers and sisters, always seeking to lift up the lowliest, lift up those who are suffering the most, if we want to be disciples of Christ, we are called to preach, as St. Francis always reminded us, with our actions more than our words. May this Eucharist we receive remind us of the great gift of life that Christ has given to us, promising us life eternal, but also empowering us and challenging us to be a sign of Christ in the world today. Please stand.
And let us bring our prayers to God this afternoon. We pray for our church, for the people of God throughout the world, that we may indeed be inspired by the Gospels and by the, the example of Jesus, Mary, and all the saints uh, to be ambassadors of God's love in the world for the church and for its ongoing conversion in God's love. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are searching for God in their lives, uh, those who find their lives to be toil and useless, that they may know the love of Christ. We pray to the Lord. We pray for uh, peace throughout the world, uh, for all nations that are gathered in the United Nations, that all, may, all leaders of nations may seek the way of peace together, putting down the instruments of warfare. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our beloved brothers and sisters who are sick and in any way in need of healing. Pray, uh, I have a friend Simon who is undergoing surgery today. Also pray, ask you to pray for a Paulist, uh, Father Tom Dove, who is in hospital with COVID on the West Coast and not doing very well at all. Uh, and so for all those who are in need of healing, uh, graces this day, we pray to the Lord. We uh, pray for all of the beloved dead and in a special way at this Mass, we pray for the soul of Zuila Hernandez. Is that your mom? Yes, I thought so. Well, for Zuila, who passed away uh, just recently uh, in California uh, for the consolation of her daughter and granddaughter who are here with us today, uh, that uh, we may know that God's great mercy and may God invite and welcome Zuila into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Let us just take a moment to remember our own needs in our own prayers. Almighty God, you sent Jesus Christ among us so that we could find our way back to you. Hear these prayers which we place before you with sincere hearts and grant them according to your gracious will. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Is the funeral today? Okay, we're okay. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good, the good of all, his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 
holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church, Lord, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, with all the clergy. Remember your servant, Zoila, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. In our own coronavirus way, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, peace Mom. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Just a reminder, we begin our communion procession from the far uh, north part of the church, down the side aisle and up to the front followed by the people on the north side of the church in the center. Then the procession begins from the south side, far aisle, and around. You can start making that move now.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. You like the mask with the Paulus Fathers on it? It's pretty, pretty good. If you want one of your own, write us at the Paulus Fathers, 415 West 59th Street, New York, New York, 10019. Put a $5 bill in, we'll send you one. How about that? Um, tomorrow, we're going to be finally, by the grace of God, confirming our teens. So at 5 p.m. tomorrow, we'll be live streaming our confirmation mass with them. And then, as usual, on Sunday, we live stream masses at 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. And we hope to see you at one of those. Everyone else here, we'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ.